Happy Tuesday, everybody. So I gave you the assignment Incomplete Dominance and Codominance Worksheet yesterday. And as expected, not a whole bunch of people turned it in yet. Um, I know that some of you are still trying to finish up your 11.3 notes. Others are trying to get that picture to upload for the Lab 11B, um, but you're running into problems. So I think the solution right now might be to click on Edit to make sure you pop it out of Schoology. And it should take you to Google Docs, and that, I believe, will give you all of your commands and things that you should be able to do. And that should solve the problem, um, but I'm still trying to get a student to give me some feedback and tell me if it works, um, but I believe it should. Um, so anyway, incomplete dominance and co-dominance worksheet. Let's go ahead and open up that assignment. And that is located, We I move, woo! Um, that is in Chemistry Biology 8, Quarter 2 Assignments for Biology, Chapter 11, Heredity, 11.3, other patterns of inheritance, and then the folder incomplete dominance and codominance, ed puzzle and worksheet. A folder in a folder in a folder. Hey, I heard you like folders, so I put a folder in a folder so you can fold while you fold. Oh, snap! Got my meme game. All right, so incomplete dominance and codominance worksheet. Go ahead and open that assignment, and it's gonna be like, yo, you need some cami. So use Cami to complete this assignment. You should have a button right here that says Open Assignment with Cami. If you do not have that button, follow this link right here. But Ms. Riggle, I've never used Cami before. What should I do? Click that link. It's gonna give you your instructions, how to install it, how to make sure it's working. And then if for some reason you've been living under a rock, or just not attending my class, and you still have not used Cami before, you don't know the basics of using it, click this link right here. It will take you to a video that gives you the basic rundown of what Cami is, how it works. All right, so with that out of the way, open assignment in Cami. And it should open up, and we got all sorts of stuff going on. Incomplete dominance and codominance. So when Mendel studied pea plants, he happened to select traits that were determined by two alleles where one allele was completely dominant over the other. For instance, for flower color in peas, purple flowers are dominant and white flowers are recessive. We've said this a million times at this point, right? But some patterns of inheritance are different than the ones Mendel discovered. In this skill sheet, you will get some practice with two other patterns of inheritance called incomplete dominance and codominance. So you know what? I'm going to grab my markup little highlighter thing right here, and I am going to highlight patterns of inheritance called incomplete dominance and codominance. This is super important. You need to know that incomplete dominance and codominance are referred to as patterns of inheritance. So patterns or the way things happen, um, the sequence of events they go through of inheritance. Inheritance is when you receive traits from your parents or inheritance could be like when your grandparents or great grandparents, when they, you know, eventually age catches up with them and they will have to pass away eventually. Um, if they leave behind any money or any property or something like that, someone would inherit that. They would get that as a gift from the generation before them. So when a red snapdragon is crossed with a white snapdragon, the next generation will have all pink flowers. Because you finished your 11.3 notes already, wink, wink, if you have not finished your 11.3 notes, stop this video, get out of here and go finish those notes. Come back when you're done. So now that you're done with your 11.3 notes and you're prepared for this because you've done the learning, we can now apply your learning. Okay, so the next generation will have all pink flowers as it says in your notes. Because red and white blend, 
This is an example of a pattern of inheritance called incomplete dominance. And there's an example way below on page two. No, that, no, in the examples, I lie. In incomplete dominance, the phenotype of the two alleles blend, just like mixing paints. So you can't see just red anymore. You can't see just white anymore. They mush together and become pink or light red. But in the pattern of inheritance called codominance, an organism that has both alleles of a gene displays both phenotypes at the same time. For example, a cross between a black cat and a tan cat results in a tabby cat. So unfortunately, this tan cat doesn't really look brown, um, but it is supposed to be, but we can at least see that it's kind of a different shade. So the black cat plus the tan cat it doesn't mix and make like a super dark brown or anything like that. It ends up making this brown color with black stripes. So the tabby cat pattern, like it looks like a tiger, except we all know it's like a cat. It poops inside, it's nasty, and it needs to be replaced by a dog. Thank you very much. Dogs rule, cats drool. That's right. Okay. so. I like offended half the class right now. I'm sorry, not sorry. Indoor cats, no good. All right, so a black cat and a tabby cat, if you mix them together, then you're gonna get these black alleles and a black and a tan allele, and you're gonna end up with some black cats and tabby cats. And then it gives an example. A cross between red flowered snapdragons and white flowered snapdragons produces offspring with pink flowers. If we let capital R be red, W be white, then the genotype of a plant with red flowers would be RR. A plant with a genotype of RW would be pink. It would be red and white. Mix them together, get pink. If we suppose a pink flowered plant is crossed with a pink flowered plant, so an RW and an RW, if we mix those two together, we're going to get an R, R, an R, W, an R, W, and a W, W. So my possible genotypes and phenotypes. Possible genotype number one, R, R, phenotype red. Genotype R, W, phenotype pink. Genotype W, W. Phenotype white flowers. What is the ratio of the offspring that will have pink flowers? Well, that one's no good. That one's no good. Oh, it's this one and this one are pink. And if I count each of these boxes, I have two boxes. So I can say 25, 50. It's 50%. Oh, I'm answering C anyway for the wrong color. Um, so it wants a ratio. So that's a fraction. So I have one, two out of one, two, three, four possible boxes. That's two fourths. If I reduce two fourths, I get one half. The ratio is one to two. Okay. Now, what percentage of the offspring will have red flowers? Well, it's going to be just that one box worth. One box is 25% in a Punnett square, so 25%. All right, so on page two of two, I have all these text boxes up here in this fancy schmancy font, and it's got colors, and it's pretty, and you're all jealous, I know. Um, so patterns of inheritance. Your choices are complete dominance, incomplete dominance, or codominance. Remember, a genotype is the letters that represent the alleles. So in this case, B and T. R and W, um, R and Y, B and W. Whatever letters we're using make up the genotype. The phenotype is the physical observation. Pink flowers, white flowers, red flowers, black cat, tan cat, tabby cat, yellow wings, red wings, orange wings. Those are phenotypes. They describe it. So genotype 
tells me what the genes are. If I do like so all sorts of sciencey stuff under a microscope with an electron microscope and get to see it really up close. The phenotype is what I can actually observe on like maybe the bare eyes. Um, some phenotypes are a little deeper than just observing with your eyes, but they're easier to tell. They're the descriptive word. The phenotype is the adjective. And then I have a reminder that in a four square Punnett square, one square means each box is 25%. So 25, 50, 75, 100% would be all four boxes. Okay, so all this area right here that's highlighted in tan color is telling you that there is a video, an audio clip over here. And if you play this, Okay, so I'm going to stop that there. So you can play that sound clip again if you would like, and it will just remind you what you're supposed to do for each of these sections. Um, so what is the pattern of inheritance in this example? So you're going to look at it. Well, I have capital letters going into it. They're different capital letters. So we're not talking about 11.1. We're not talking about 11.2. We are not talking about complete dominance. Rule that one out. It is not the answer. So it has to be one of the options where, wait, does it say? Okay. Um, so it has to be some sort of option where we can use two different capital letters. So it has to be either incomplete dominance or codominance. So the next piece of information we have to take is it tells us we have a tabby cat crossed with a tan cat. So let's just go back up to the top. Okay, we're talking about a tabby cat and a black cat and a tan cat. Um, what is it? What is it? Um, displays both phenotypes at the same time. A tabby cat shows both at the same time. Okay, we must be talking about codominance. Okay. So then we're going to come down here, and the answer for A is going to be codominance. And I'm going to pick a color that stands out just to make my life so much easier when I'm grading this. I've looked at a couple already, and you guys used black text. And thank you for doing the work. Um, but it is a little tough for me to tell the difference between the text from the work and your answers, so it is gonna take me a couple extra seconds. So those of you doing it for the first time right now, go ahead and pick your favorite color. Um, if your color that you want to use is not here, come to the little paint palette thing, pick more colors, and pick one you like. If you don't like any of those, then I think you're out of luck. Yeah, it doesn't let you do custom colors. But at least it gives you a bigger palette that you can choose from. So it is codominance. What are the genotypes and phenotypes of the parents? That's going to be these ones out here. Capital T, capital T. If you don't remember from this right here, where you say capital T stands for tan, you could go all the way back up here. Oh, capital T, capital T guy? That was the tan cat. So one parent is tan. What's the other one? What's the one with the co-dominant black and tan, both showing up at the same time where the cat's got strippy, strippy, stripies? And I also say it right here. So that would be the genotypes. Genotype would be TT and BT. And the phenotype would be tan and tabby. So I'm going to put in TT, tan. And then BT, Abby. And make the box fit. There we go. Make it so I can read it. List the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring. Move. Okay. So the offspring, I can have BT, 
and I can have TT, pretty much the same ones. And it wants Gino and Fino, BT Tan, BT Tabby. All right, so what ratio of the offspring will have Tabby fur, or Tan fur, or Black fur? Be very careful with this one. It is asking for a ratio, so that is a fraction. So what ratio will have Tabby? Well, I've got one, two, out of one, two, three, four total. So that's two fourths, but I need to reduce it. So it's one half. What about tan for, well, again, we have one, two out of one, two, three, four. So that is another one half. Now that I've got half and half, that means there's nothing left for the last. But just to humor myself, lack for, nope, 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 zero. of four or just zero is fine with me, but I'm gonna put it over four because it wants to have a fraction ratio. So what are the chances in percent that the parents will have a kitten with black fur? Well, we already just came up right here. Our ratio is zero out of four. So what's that percentage? Goose egg, zero percent. Now suppose two cats with tan fur have kittens. What are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of their offspring? Well, let's see. Tan kitten, tan kitten, oh, it doesn't fit in here. So either you can work it out just mentally and be like, okay, okay, okay. Tan fur, they want to have, okay. So what is the genotype for tan fur? What is the genotype for tan fur? Um, let's come up here. Capital T is tan, and we have co-dominance going on. So that means the only way it can be a tan cat is if it has capital T, capital T. Okay, so we worked out that first part. So we know both of, I suppose two cats with tan fur. So we have two cats. I'm not mirrored. Help. Okay, I feel like I'm like doing Vogue. Okay, so, wow, there we go. This is how cameras work, people. I am not very good with mirrors, as you can tell. Um, so let's see, I have tan cat up here, tan cat over here, capital T, capital T up top, capital T, capital T on the side. What's gonna go inside that Punnett square? Am I gonna have any B going in that Punnett square? No, it's gonna be just a T, that's all I can provide. So what is the possible phenotype and genotype of the kittens? If all I can give them is a capital T, if that's all they can have, what can they be? So answer that one right there. And it's gonna be the same kind of process for number two and number three. So just make sure that you're paying attention to this information it provides for you. So like this one up here, I provided for you, B for black, T for tan, B, T for tabby, to show you that you have one color, another color, and then a mixture, which is you can see both colors at the same time independently. This one right here though, red wings, yellow wings. If you remember back to hopefully kindergarten, you may have learned this. If not, maybe in art, if you learned anything about color theory, um, you will hopefully know that if you take a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow, you mix them up and you'll get orange. So red plus yellow makes orange. So I'm not seeing wings that are red with yellow stripes. I'm not seeing yellow with red polka dots. It's going red plus yellow makes orange. What type of dominance is that? Is that complete, incomplete, or co-dominance? I'm gonna tell you it's not complete dominance. And that's as far as I'm taking it, okay? So complete dominance was 11.1. .1. That's where you have the capital and the lower, and the capital wins. This time we have two capitals, and they're fighting. They are trying to be the dominator. 
but neither one is going to take it away. So they're gonna have to share. In this case, they share by blending. So which type of inheritance or which type of dominance is the one where they share? And then just go through the rest of the questions and answering them as you go. Feel free to ask me if you don't understand any of these. Part three, same idea. We're using a capital B, a capital W, and we're talking about mice. One gene determines fur color, blah, blah, blah. They would have a variety of phenotypes, suppose the alleles, suppose the allele. And it wants you to suppose if there was incomplete dominance, what would happen? And if there was co-dominance, what would happen? So you're gonna need to know the definitions of each of these words. Remember, incomplete dominance is where they kind of mush together and make one color that's in between. If it's co-dominance, you can see both at the same time. So incomplete dominance was the snapdragons, the red and white make pink. Co-dominance was like the tabby cat. The brown cat and the black cat make a brown cat with black stripes. And that is the whole entire worksheet. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need. If you're able to maybe watch the video on your phone while you work on this assignment on Kami, that would be perfect. Um, if you're able to have the video up in the background on another tab maybe, or in another window, put your windows like half and half on your screen, that would work too. Um, so like if I do this where I pull it out and make that medium, Look at all my wonderful icons on my desktop. There we go. So here I have my side by side. I could have my video over here of me saying, hey, here's how you do your assignment, boys and girls. And then over here, I could be actually working on it. Um, so however it works best for you, go ahead and make that happen. And there we go. So it gets really small when I do that, but I could be watching the video and working on the assignment at the same time. Good luck. Please ask me questions if you need. Yes, I am doing conferences all day, but if you send me a message as soon as I can, I will get back to you. Um, so yeah, good luck. Have a great day, everybody.